The most important thing that everyone needs to work on is their energy. So the spiritual awakening, it's interesting to learn about the cosmos or the universe or what's been going on in the world. But what's most important is to understand thyself, but also to actually master thyself. And that means master the thoughts, master the words, master your energy, because I, when I first started out, I was exactly like this, but I found someone on live yesterday, um, the other day, and I watched them because they share interesting posts, they have a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and so I wanted to see what they were sharing, so I was watching them, and I was getting the worst energy from them, so just because someone has a lot of information and seems very awakened mentally because they understand so much, if they don't have the energy, proper energy, like good energy, then even though they're sharing information and in light mentally, they're actually sharing night energetically. And because we're all atoms, because we're all cells, we're constantly radiating our energy. And so what happened is even though he was sharing truth, I was actually being like I was picking up bad energy so it was like I was being attacked just from listening to him but it was putting bad energy in me so one he was radiating it out which means that he's being a negative cell even if he's sharing the light and it's not saying that he is negative <clears throat> because what can happen is if people aren't aware or even if they are and they're on the path those who are on the path and trying to be more like, they can actually get attacked worse. So it's not to say that that was because he is bad energy, but because while he was sharing truth, he might have been being attacked by the gang stalkers, by the black mages. And so he was being like bad, bad spells were being put on him that was then projecting negative energy to put a cloak over his truth and his light so that people won't listen because they get a negative vibe from it. So... This is why you need to be aware of spells, your energy, because we're cells, we're atoms, we radiate light or night and we need to be radiating positivity because it's when we fill our own field and then the field around us with the light that then we can share the light, bring more light and this is how we manifest the heaven on earth reality that we wish to see. So be aware of your energy, of your spells, of your thoughts. One of the best ways I can tell if I've got bad energy in me, on me, around me, or near me, or people are projecting it onto me, is if I literally feel like unwell, feel heavy energy, um, start to feel sick, if I put my hand over like one of my chakra points like that, you can usually tell that there's either bad energy there or something's trying to attack it because you're trying to either protect, protect it or pull bad energy out with one hand or put good energy in with another. Sometimes if you saw the plexus, things like that, you might notice like wiping your head it's all kind of unconscious stuff if you aren't aware of what you're actually doing but be aware of when you do these things when you feel unwell around someone or um you have negative thoughts about someone or around someone like sometimes the negative thoughts is a way of me being able to tell that i've got a spell on me because i'll have like my spiritual teacher and he is so lightful and all he wishes for me is the light he would never wish like he has my best intentions at heart. Um, this is how I know it was like a soul spiritual teacher. Um, and so sometimes I'll get spells on me to like think negatively of him or find him like annoying. And I can tell that now that it's a spell someone or the black mages or the gang stalkers is trying to put on me and him so that I don't continue on the path of light and also to try and shit on his light as well. And if I wasn't aware and I was having these negative thoughts about him, I might project those negative thoughts onto him like that is who he is, when actually it's something that's like a bad spell that's been put on me. And then that's how like you end up projecting spells and this is how the gang stalkers end up turning people against each other because you might think it's your own thoughts, you might think it's your own emotions or feelings about that person, but if you actually stopped, deleted and got rid of the spell and then waited to see how it is you really feel about the situation you'd notice it change because the spell the demons the energy it can really just feel like your own emotions your own thoughts and so one of the ways that i would delete 
the black magic um, is I'll just say I delete all negative in, on, around and near me instantly. I delete all black magic in, on, around and near me instantly. Say it strong, mean it as you say it. And you might even need to say it multiple, multiple times. Be aware of energy, it's the most important thing.